one death gives reason for a second. The second lends glory to a third. And I curse the Raven Lord who lit the torch for terror in these lands. Some say he was mortal, a warlord thirsting for power. And the bloodlust and destruction he unleashed was real enough. But I say he rose from hell. The land you're standing on now was burning with hatred. Humanity itself disappearing like smoke. Our salvation. Our hope. It came from the heavens. A soldier. Furious and magnificent to behold. Mighty enough to challenge even the Raven Lord. A heavenly warrior to lead mankind in one deadly battle. And shining through the horror. Such a weapon. When the battle ended and our world was saved, the heavenly warrior had vanished. Only his weapon remained. And so was born the legend of our heavenly sword. And thousands would die for it. As generations passed, the heavenly warrior lived on only in legend. But his sword's hold on mankind had only just begun. Salvation, survival, and peace just weren't enough. No. Men tore each other's flesh apart to wield the sword's heavenly power. They murdered for it, butchered with it, and in turn were slaughtered for clutching it. And to see this cycle of destruction, I swear it stirred the wrath of the gods. The sword itself began to feed on the bloodlust of its masters. It hungered for the souls of men. And those who wielded it would soon be consumed by it. Death. Agonizing and inevitable. This sword, once a blessing upon mankind, had become a curse. And that was the beginning of our clan's story. With those first nomadic warriors who forged our legacy and duty to be sole custodians of the sword, to keep it from the grasp of mankind, and so protect the world from its insatiable appetite. Our forefathers moved ever onwards, a symbol of hope for the land. So be proud! For years, our clan sustained this tireless vigil. And as we roamed, we waited. Waited for a day of glory so long foretold, when the legendary warrior would return to these lands and reclaim his heavenly sword. They met in a place of serenity and learning. Two boys, two paths in life ahead. One was to become the cruelest of kings, the other a champion of peace. And how many would perish when those two paths crossed again? Young men of destiny were taught to lead and to win. They faced each other and they fought. It wouldn't be the last time. He was going to emerge as the finest of kings. A valiant warrior. He was trained to fight with dignity. But honor and goodness, he didn't possess. Humiliated, scarred with defeat, his black heart brooded. He dreamed of a glorious future. But those secret hopes were swiped away with violence and contempt. He vowed revenge, and this much he knew. His time would come. I tell you this, 
He was as malevolent and vicious then as he is now. But he thirsted for power. <coughs> but becoming a king wasn't enough to appease his appetite and rage. He wanted to become a god. And for that, he needed the heavenly sword. Protecting the heavenly sword from the greed of mankind was an unforgiving life for the clan. We faced endless hardship and persecution, and knew that every step we took could be our last. Just as my father did, and his father too. Because we knew that the day would come when our struggles could finally end. It was written that the heavenly warrior was destined to return. In the year of the fire horse, on the fifth day, he would reclaim his sword and lead mankind to salvation. Every generation they'd come. Black-hearted warlords proclaiming themselves sent from heaven. And every generation our clan destroyed them. But few of us survived this age-long struggle, desperate to keep the sword safe until the day of the prophecy. Then at last, the time had come. The heavenly warrior would return in a divine birth, a boy savior to grow and lead us into an age of peaceful glory. I was there that night. I felt such emotion. So many I loved had sacrificed themselves for this one moment. And then, what I saw that night will haunt me until I die. How should we react when the prophecy upon which we have built our whole lives shaped our destiny? when all this comes to nothing. So many were sacrificed. And even that fateful moment claimed one more treasured life. Our long-awaited savior, the returning heavenly warrior, was born a worthless girl. A violation of the prophecy, the death of our hopes. How would this thing save us? Does such a cursed one, a mewling portent of doom, really deserve to live? As our leader, a father, and the bravest man I've ever known, he made his choice. She was to live and grow alone, begrudged and despised, blamed for every hardship, every loss to our dwindling clan. But through those lonely years, her solemn father was quietly creating a warrior. And now this courageous girl, this jewel we came so close to crushing, is our last and only hope. And so here we stand, surrounded, outnumbered by a thousand to one, as two childhood foes prepare to battle once more. So be brave. This is what it's all been leading to. Now is the moment when the warrior must rise.